Most of you probably know Greg, our resident MBU puffer fish at NEA, but how much do you actually know about him? I'll fill you in while he enjoys his lunch. MBU pufferfish are native to the rivers and lakes of Central Africa, where they reach up to 26 inches, making them one of the largest species of freshwater pufferfish. Even Greg is having a hard time accepting that he's going to be as long as this measuring tape one day. Caring for them in captivity really requires commitment, as they need at least a 500-gallon tank once they've reached their full size, if not a larger tank, to provide them with more swimming space. The tank should have rocks, driftwood, and sturdy plants while still leaving them plenty of room to swim around in like ours does. This helps to mimic their natural environment and keep them mentally stimulated, which is really important for pufferfish. Pufferfish are carnivores with these strong, constantly growing buck teeth that they use to crush the shells of their food. Here he gets four clams on the half shell daily and his water is kept between 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with a strong sump filter to keep up with his messy eating habits and high bio load. The clam shells also help his teeth from overgrowing. MBU pufferfish are generally solitary and best kept alone. Housing them with small or slow swimming fish will lead to predation. Ideally, he'd be kept in a species-only tank to avoid any conflicts or stress for any fish involved. Like many other pufferfish, MBUs are known for their intelligence and ability to recognize and distinguish from their owners and caregivers versus just strangers or people who don't necessarily care for them, and Greg definitely does this. Given how demanding caring for Greg would be for one person to take on, he may be with us for his whole 10 plus year lifetime, and we are more than okay with that.